Hello, my name is Razorwing from the Silvio Tower project. In this video I'm going to show you how to create animated objects for Oblivion through 3D Studio Max. This video is meant as a complement to the written version created by me and Nico. I really recommend that you read the written version because it contains a lot of useful links and other information that I can't go into detail about in this video. To find the written version, visit our forum at forum.silvio.com. Click on the link called Factboard. Then click on Models and Textures, and then find the thread named 3ds Max Simple Animation Tutorial. Let's continue in 3D Studio Max. Right, I've started a new blank scene in 3D Studio Max, and now I'm going to create a simple visual model to demonstrate how animation works. This example model will be a rail gate in a gate system. I'm using box primitives. I'm using box primitives to create the example model. Because one of the cool things about box primitives is it's also one of the shapes in the hardbox system. And that will make it very easy to Model based on the visual model. Now, with a bit of Im imagination, you can pretend it's a real gate. Notice the pivot point of these boxes, which is centered at the base area of all three. Pivot point plays a big part in animation because it controls how an object rotates. Since the axis of rotation is down there, then the same way as you rotate an object, it will rotate like that. So we have to do some modifications to this door because we can't have a door opening like that. It will look stupid. We do that by setting the angle snap to 45%, rotate it 90 degrees on the side, and move it into place. And now we have the pivot point exactly where we want it. Now I'm going to apply a simple material to these models so I can tell them apart from the visual from the collision model. I'm gonna make this crude stone pillars like that and a crude door like that. Select them, I'm going to edit, clone, make copies like that, and then unselected. Then apply any material to them that will help you keep them apart from the others. And this is going to be the static part of the model. And therefore, we're going to make it a mop shape. So we convert it to edible mesh. And then we click attach to attach the two shapes to each other. Then we center, center the pivot point of the object, which is always a good idea when you create a collision. We set the X-form just to be sure. And convert it to an edible mesh again. Then we're going to add a BHK rigid body modifier to it. I'm going to set the material to stone and set the, the bounding volume to pack strip shape. This will create a mop shape when we export it to new format. And this one is going to be animated, so it has to remain a box, a box primitive. So we add a BHK rigid modifier again. Set the material to wood and the bounding volume to axis align box. Right, now we have our two collision messes in the scene. We have the static part, which is a mop shape, and the animated part, which is a box primitive. And as you recall, we used box primitives to create this mop shape. Right, 
Um, because these collision shapes will behave in completely different ways, we're going to have to create two BHK radio body helpers, one for each of them. So, but we're going to start by giving them these names that will make them easier to tell apart. So we're going to call this one CM static. We're going to call this one CM Annie. Right. Now let's go to the create panel and the helpers tab and select NIF tools in the list. Center list for origin. And I'm gonna also gonna give these names that will make them easier to tell apart. I'm gonna name one static and one add. Now we're gonna ho hook up the collision models to the BHK rigid body helpers. So we're gonna select the static BHK rigid body helper. And it should be store material. It should be static. And we'll leave these at default. Click the add button and select it. And now it's added. And we select the animated BHK rigid body helper. I'm going to set the material to wood because this one is the set the layer to anim static. Set both 